the gift of life Amen. oh there are some of us who are no longer with us mm. they wanted to do this and that mm. but they couldn't yeah. because my lord their time was over Amen. oh lord have mercy upon us mm. bless this evening service Amen. heal those who need to be healed mm. heal those who are sick my lord Amen. save those who need to be saved my lord mm. Oh Lord, sanctify those who need sanctification. Amen. Baptize with the Holy Ghost those who need baptism of the Holy Ghost. Mm. Oh Lord, we thank you. We glorify your name. You say you, you said you must bless your name in everything, whether mm. we are in good situations or in bad situation. Yeah. We must always glorify your name. That is why we praise your name. Mm. You are worthy to be praised. You are holy, my Lord. Mm. Bless this evening service. My Lord, bless the word. Amen. Let us not be hearers who deceive themselves. Let mm -hmm. us be hearers who do your word, O oh Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bless this service. Bless all those who will be listening. Mm -hmm. Bless all those who are far away. Yeah. Create a, 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 an invisible church Amen. that is known by you. Yes. Oh, my Lord. We mm -hmm. don't know each and every one of who is watching, yeah. but you know them all, mm -hmm. all over the world, all over the world, my mm -hmm. Lord, you know them, bless yeah. them, oh Lord, as they listen, mm -hmm. bless them as they watch, oh Lord, mm -hmm. oh, we thank you in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Ah, si apu wanga intamba meni anamuta. Suwonga unkunukula abenati. Amen. Eh, ilanga lonke. Yes. Fika iskati ni samanje. Amen. Suwonga kakulu. Eh, Suwonga umusa wake. Yes. Utando wake. Mm. Ha, ugus na gegela. Mm. Lava kulayo ya pilisa. Yes. Lava kalayo ya tuduza. Amen. Ha, gijime la guyo nomas na zinkinga singa ganani. Mm. Ubutumu abupeli. Kusem kabeni lana. Ubutumu abupeli. Utu khalisegi lo kupuma loko. Utu khalisegi lo kupuma loko. 
Manje sikijimela kuye unkulunkulu wasilethela umntwana wakhe uJesu kuthi aze azosifela mm. ah singasole sikhathazeka sinomulweli singasole sikhathazeka sinalo asimelayo unkulunkulu uyasimela ngumntwana wakhe uJesu kuthi siphile ngaye sabo makakhulu wabuye wasifela wafela thina sonke ukuthi simfune simthole sithole impilo siyabona kakhulu esikhathini samanje esikhathi sezaziso eh sifunuka zisa izihlelo sezinkonzo every monday 6 o'clock siyabana umthandazo sithandazela umsebenzi kaNkulunkulu tuesday and fridays bana ma live stream services fana ne siguyo manje after kula ma services sizawuthola ama services kuma whatsapp groups amen wo oh, yonke isevusi sithola ku whatsapp group siyabonga kakhulu on sundays bana ma live stream enkonzweni esuwetho eh, 6930 moema street eh, unkulunkulu usibuyisile last week ah sijabula kakhulu is social distance eh, benkulu abantu bebalushana but umsebenzi kaNkulunkulu uchubeke phambili eh, ngalendaba yile pandemic ukuthi abantu balalele kuma live stream eh, unkulunkulu uzawubuyisisa sibonga kakhulu also this sunday siyabonga unkulunkulu asivulele siyathandaza ukuthi asivulele sibe khona ku lama services wama eh, live stream on sunday Amen. abantu bayangena ku apostolic faith church eh, za apostolic faith church za uyavula ku youtube channel uklika yona leyo and then uh, we are subscriber la paya mo subscriber uklika i button i bell and then uzawuthola ama services every sunday from half past 8 and then every tuesday and friday 6 o'clock uzawuthola ama notification and then you will enjoy the service and god will bless you sibonga kakhulu eh sinendaba izikuhlungu kakhulu ndaba izikuhlunga asiphela umama wethu umama Tin Dovu from Bed Bridge ah wahambile ngosini asibekeni basemdeni emithandazweni unkulunkulu uyaziyo izizathu unkulunkulu uyazi amalanga umuntu nathi kumalokho sitshela ukuthi sikhale silungile izindlela ngoba lana siyandlula eh siyandlula asikhale ngayo futhi la sizohlala sikhohlo nokukhohlo ukuthi sisehambeni la sikhona eh asibekeni umdeni eh umdeni waka eh wamandlovu waka duwe asibabekeni emithandazweni eh abazalana bethu ukuthi uNkulunkulu ababambise umsebenzi lo bazobababambana nawo babhekene nawo nabafundisi khona ngale ah asibabekeni emithandazweni uNkulunkulu ababusise bayenze umsebenzi ukuhambisa umama wethu la azolinda khona siyabonga kakhulu sikhathini samanje asimoshi isikhathi sizawuthola izwi ah sizawuthola izwi buya ku sister wethu umama wethu umama shiwile wilo epulukwane asilungiseni ama bible nama eh, notebook unkulunkulu uzawuzibusisa sithole izwi kulo kumama Ah uzawuzibusisa uNkulunkulu asilaleleni sizawuthola isolo after isolo singene izwini God bless you all amen Amen God sent his son They call him Jesus He came to die He died for you He lived and died
I greet one and all in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our soon coming King and Lord of Lords. Um, it is a privilege to be here. It is an opportunity to be alive. We give glory to God for the grace of life. We thank him for the cross. We thank him for the Holy Spirit. And we thank him that we are still in the period of grace. Glory to God. Mazalwani, we are in times that are trying. We are in times that are so fearful. And if we are not careful, we are going to be consumed by the fear of these times. We will quickly talk about fear and see how other Christians in the past, young and old, managed to stand fearless in front of their colleagues that they faced. If we can quickly read Esther chapter 3 verse 5. And when Haman saw that Mordecai bowed not, nor did him reverence, then Haman was full of wrath, and he thought scorn to lay hands on Mordecai alone, for they had showed him the people of Mordecai. Wherefore Haman sought to destroy all the Jews that were throughout the whole kingdom of Ahasuerus, even the people of Mordecai. Here we see Mordecai standing for his belief in his God that he will not bow for anyone else but God. He did not fear when everybody else was kneeling down as Haman passed, Mordecai stood. And until Haman realized, or some quickly went to tell Haman that you should check when you pass, Mordecai does not kneel down. That brought a lot of wrath and anger in Haman. And we see Haman planning to kill or to destroy Mordecai alone. But he thought, no, they have showed me his people. He's a Jew, and I know there are many Jews in this kingdom. So let me destroy all the Jews. Glory to God. But we see Mordecai taking his stand and not kneeling down. Why are we talking about Mordecai? We are looking at Mordecai today in our own place. We have this pandemic that is all over the world. And the fear of the pandemic is the one that we are going to talk about. We won't talk about the pandemic Pandemic, we know it is there. Pandemic, we know it is taking our loved ones. It is des destroying all over. But we are not talking about it. We are going to talk about the fear of the pandemic. That we should not do. We should not fear it. We should not worship it. We should not kneel down uh, before the fear of the pandemic. How? Continual talking about it. Continual thinking about it. Continual following what is happening. It is good to look at the news, 
but her to libele la diloche and fill our hearts with the numbers of infections fill our spirits with the number of deaths per day ukhumana you know exactly or on friday last week the 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 infections were at 97 now they are at, at, at 107 you know it's good to know the news it's good to know what is happening but let us be careful not to put too much of it into our hearts because when it goes into our hearts it creates fear then we are going to be a fearful church we are going to be children of god that are so fearful about this pandemic the pandemic is there we sanitize we steam we put on our masks we stay away from crowds that we will do god helping us but we shall not fear this pandemic why when we read the word of god it says by his stripes we are healed so instead of taking too much of the pandemic uh, 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 results and 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 its numbers can't we bazalwane turn a little bit and look at the cross and take more of the cross into us take more of what jesus did on the cross think more of the blood that was shed on calvary take that blood and smear it on our hearts like the israelites did glory to god and death passed them so we are not talking about the pandemic we are talking of the fear of the pandemic it is starting to rule in the hearts of people but we should not fear it we should do what we are supposed to do but we should not fear the word of god says we must fear the one that kills the spirit and the body but the one that kills the body only riskera muchaba kaliba kala gore ge mo nama ibula when the when the flesh is dead the spirit of a righteous man goes to be with the lord so fear is the absence of faith fear is negative faith believing the negative pandemic is a fact but we should not fear it we should fear the lord fearing the lord is putting our faith in god and knowing that we are more than conquerors through christ jesus so mordecai refused no matter how much haman was angry he did not kneel down when haman was passing so we are not going to kneel down to the fear of the pandemic we are going to kneel down at the foot of the cross where our salvation comes from we see how jesus suffered how he fell 13 times as he was going to the cross how he fell and could not rise until they called simon of kuren to carry the cross together with him to help him carry the cross to the mountain this is what must fill our lives see the crown of thorns on his head uti lini kumbule remember the death of the lord all the time this is where our salvation is fear the lord don't fear the pandemic 
acknowledge the pandemic, but don't fear it in Jesus' name. I will again quickly go to the to Daniel chapter 2, trying to keep time. Daniel chapter 2. Daniel chapter 3, sorry, verse 11. And whoso falleth not down and worshipeth, that he should be cast into the midst of a burning fire furnace. Verse 12. There are certain Jews whom thou hast set over the affairs of the prince of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Those men, O king, have not regarded thee. They serve not their gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar in his rage and fury commanded to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then they brought these men before the king. Glory to God. Here we see that there was a rule that the king brought that when the trumpets blow, everybody must kneel down. When the, the, the music and the set butt and the psaltery and the flute and the cornet, and when they, when, when, they, when they sound, everybody must go on their knees. But these three young men, glory to God, did not bow to what was happening in their land. The devil has sent this pandemic even to try us Christians to see where our faith stands. These are the end times and we are being perfected for the rapture. Jesus is coming soon. The devil is working full time. This pandemic has also come for us Christians because the Lord said he is going to remove us before he pours out his full wrath. But the fact that we are still here and this pandemic is here, it is here to try. The devil is putting it even amongst Christians so that we fear it and not fear our God and fail to trust our God. So we see Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego stood up. They did not try to bend down to sort of kneel and not kneel. No. They stood up and they did not bow. They showed the world that we are not going to bow. So we are not refusing what we are told to do. We will sanitize. We will put on our masks. We will, we will, we will, we will, we will wash our hands. We will avoid crowds. Truly that we must, children of God. But the fear, we do it as per the command that has been given. And we know that these things are helping us to prevent the pandemic affecting our bodies. But what we are talking about here is the fear of it. Hudula uchurele, koryo ikabayona, he ikabayona. You know, we are not supposed to live like that. As much as it can take our loved ones and still continue to take our loved ones, but we shall not fear. Let us hear Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Shadrach, uh, verse 16, chapter 3, verse 16. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, Oh, Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. Verse 17, if it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fire of furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. 18, but if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set. 
re bolela ga botse shatrak mishek na pedniko bari but if not be it known unto thee we will not fear you pandemic we will fear god we will look at the cross even if our god does not save it from it but it shall be known to you demons of the pandemic to you the king the king of the kingdom of darkness that they refused to bow down at the fear of the pandemic glory to god this young man did not fear the fire they looked at the fire and said even if we can go into the fire why are we running away from fear bazalwan fear will take us away from god fear will make us die before our death you will die before you die fear will bring depression into our lives we will not be productive christians we will not be able to tell the world about christ anymore because we are afraid that we will tell them about god and we pray and we tell them that god can heal and they die so we are going to we're going to stop telling people about god we're going to stop talking about divine healing that is fear that is what fear will do so may god help us in these evil times that we take a stand as shadrach mishek and abednego how can we survive and run away from this fear we are going to take the word of god glory to god we are going to eat the word of god our pastor says don't read the word but eat the word glory to god so we eat the word of god as we eat it it will keep us from fear glory to god it will remove the fear bazalwane akulandi ebuhlungu njengokuhlala ngaphansi kokwesaba ukwesaba kuyisifo esibe kakhulu ekumele ukuthi sisinqobe ngoba sizaphila impilo ebuhlungu yet god has given us life you will you, we will fear kanti we still have some 10 years before jesus comes and god is saying these ones will live but fear will tell us Mm-mm, we are going to die and truly out of fear we can die job said what i feared has happened so labona gore fear attracts those things that we fear and brings them to us and then obo ore a kitsebile utsibileng nkabe utsibile sifapano wasn't the result going to be better i'm saying even if this pandemic ikarichia but let the demons and the devils know that arikasi chabe because of the cross because of the work of the cross glory to god as i finish we will look at esther quickly to see her as an example of what to do when we are faced with fear when mordecai told esther what was happening esther was fearful to go to the king because she knew the rules that the king had put but mordecai said if you don't go help shall come from somewhere but how do you know maybe you are in the kingdom for a time such as this hallelujah uh, chapter 4 esther chapter 4 verse 14 for if thou all together holdest thy peace at this time esther then there shall be an enlargement and deliverance shall arise to the jews from another place 
but thou and thy father's house shall be destroyed. For I want these words, who knoweth whether thou art come to the kingdom for a time such as this. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Throw away the fear. You have come to the kingdom for a time such as this. So how can we be fearful when we are here for a time such as this? How can we be fearful and fear this pandemic when we have been born into this time such as this of the pandemic? God has trusted us. Esther was trusted by God. Going into the kingdom of Ahasuerus was divine. It was not an earthly thing. God knew that he will save his people through that young girl. Then Esther bade them return to Mordecai this answer. Go gather all the Jews that are present in Shushan. I want these last words that were said by Esther. I go into the king. That's verse 16, the last part of verse 16. I go unto the king, which is not according to the law. And if I perish, I perish. These are times of praying prayers. Jawari. If I perish, I perish. Glory to God. We are going to stand up in prayer. We are going to take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Prayers, Eridi Rapelang, Disaj, Buleli Manchu Arena, Maradi Bulela, the Word of God, quoting the scriptures in prayer, fighting in prayer. God said, come, bring your case. Let us talk. Go to God and say, I'm here. You said we must talk. And Father, I pray for the souls. I pray that people must look at the cross. I pray that the cross must be more who fit any other time in the times of history. Glory to God. We have come to the kingdom of God for a time such as this. Mudimu utsivile dinako, aritseba, hallelujah. He trusted Esther, for she is in the kingdom for a time such as this. This is no time to fear, child of God. It is time to stand, take the word, go into prayer, go into fasting, and stand like Esther one day. The Lord will hand out that golden scripture at his coming. Horbanabaka, you did well. What is it that you want? I can even give you the kingdom, half of the kingdom. Guess what? When Jesus comes, he will give us his kingdom and we shall reign together with him. May God bless us. Let us remove fear and put faith in the cross. Amen.